Welcome back to another Trailby tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that error notice we're getting when we went to File, Export. We get this notice here. It says, your script seems to contain some errors. Well, um, to find out what the errors are, because what it does, it just, it just checks and makes sure there's not any problems with the formatting that's going to be kind of weird, just in case. Uh, and it's a good idea to, to find those. And so if you go to Script, Find Next Error, it'll go through and it finds an error and says, okay, here's a problem. Element type dialog cannot follow type dialog. So what it's saying is you have two, it what it thinks are two independent dialogs next to each other, and it takes the cursor to that point. So it's like, look, this line's a dialog, this line's a dialog, well, which is actually okay. Like we did that here, right? And it didn't bring up an error. But because what I think I did with this one, if you remember when I was doing this in that tutorial, I hit enter and I created a, a like a character called where is all the food and then I right clicked and converted it to dialogue well but in doing that I mean it controls you to undo what it actually did was it just converted it to a dialogue but it didn't attach it to the same dialogue which is going to have some consequences when we go to reporting um, for the actual display of it when we print it it won't really matter but it the back end of Trelby uh, has an issue with that it's easy to fix all we have to do is you uh, go to backspace and put it over here and then hold shift enter and do it the proper way. That's the way we should have had this line break instead of converting it and pushing it up. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyway, the way to fix it is go back and go to Shift, Enter. Also, you can do Control, Enter, I found out, um, by just looking at the shortcut keys under the settings. Now, I think if we go to our script and go to Find Next Error, uh, it says the next error is there's an empty line. And it says right here. Oh, sure enough, there's an empty line here. That's a problem. We don't want to have, we can't just have empty lines. I mean, we can. But it'll, again, when we get to the reports, I think in the next video, maybe I'll show that, it shows that as a line. It says, it breaks down and says how many lines are in our script. And if we have a bunch of empty lines, it kind of throws off our statistics. Okay, so I got rid of that empty line. We do the same thing, find next error. Uh, element type action cannot follow type character. So it takes us to here. Uh, where's the action? We have dialogue, we have Thor. Oh, I see, and then we have action. So this is the character, and then following the character is an action. So it doesn't want us, if we want this character to be doing an action, we what we really need to do is go to element type and t uh, put it into a parenthetical. And now we can have it be like this, I think, if we wanted that to be an action, but we just typed in some garbage words anyway, so we can just actually delete this and just have it be the uh, dialogue instead. So we go element type, dialogue, and then we go to script, find next error, no errors found. Very good. Now when we go to File, Export, it'll just bring up the Export dialog and there won't be any errors. So it's really good to go through those errors and find if you have an empty space or like I said, if you're doing some manual things like this and then you right click and say, oh, this was supposed to be a uh, an action, that can kind of, well, that might not throw an error. But if we have two actions or like we saw, two dialogues independently next to each other, it can kind of create some errors. Again, Control Z for undo is your friend, or you can undo over here, undo and redo. Um, you can go to File, Edit, Undo. Um, but that is, uh, I think I'm gonna end this video here and jump into the next one, which is doing generating reports. Uh, but you can fix those errors by just going to, uh, uh, where, where was it, Script, Find Next Error. There's also a shortcut key. If we go to Settings, Change, uh, oh, not that settings, we go to File, settings change this is our global settings that was the script settings uh, we go to keyboard we can find that there is a shortcut key for find next error and it is oh, where is it at i know I, I found it somewhere is it under i guess it's under f find next error here it is so control e is the shortcut key if we don't want to come up here and go script find next error every time we can just um, hit Control E and it brings up this and says there's an empty line here and then hit Control E and it says no errors were found but that's because it's going from the cursor forward if we go back to the beginning and go Control E then it'll find all these empty lines so that's another good point I don't know if I mentioned the finding errors only goes from the cursor forward or down it's not going to find any it's not going to find any errors back here so if I hit Control E right now to find errors no errors found it didn't find these empty spaces because the cursor is below those errors. I have to bring the cursor to the very top of the document and then look for errors and it'll find empty line that I need to get rid of. Hopefully you found this video informative. Hopefully you're gaining value from learning how to use Trailby and creating some awesome screenplays. 
Look forward to catching you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know how you're finding Troby.